so <laughs> welcome to my channel you have seen my face for the first time my name is sarah donald and please this is a part two video so to to make it make sense you might need to pause this video if you haven't watched it and watch the part one first but if you have let's go <laughs> let's get right into it so we're gonna just go right into it you know like from where we stopped the previous video and i just want to use this opportunity to say thank you guys so much for the love from my previous video and before i start i just wanted to address something uh, a lot of people said oh my god sarah you're so strong how did you do that video without crying uh like even us that were watching it on your behalf we were crying the truth is i learned to realize that strength doesn't necessarily come from crying or not crying so if you're in that situation and you're making a video like this and you feel like crying please cry it is okay to cry to be honest it's okay to cry because that's your own way of showing your emotion and me not crying had to do with two things making that video was very very difficult for me because i had to relieve memories even if you notice as i was talking about it it was not a scripted video as i was talking about it i was now actually remembering the things that happened to me that's how i was able to make that video and i didn't cry because i feel like i've cried all my tears fam i've cried i have cried <laughs> i didn't cry for one day i didn't cry for two days i didn't cry for two months i didn't cry for three months i cried which is what i'm about to tell you guys so i feel like i've cried all my cry and again i'm doing this video where i'm i'm i am in such a good place such a good place i will lie or i'll try to fake emotions if i come here to say that i'm still hot no 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 i'm not at all I, like i'm in such a good place i have forgiven and i am such in a better place i've learned my lessons and most importantly i'm here to share the story because i believe that someone out there needs it for their own story or needs it you know to help them so if you're in a situation where you're being abused whether it's physical abuse emotional abuse or you're in a situation where you need to start up in life again and you're afraid because you feel like i'm 20 or i'm 30 i'm 40 i'm 50 where do i start from or i've sacrificed so much i've sacrificed a lot of my life here already just know that starting over is the best thing that can ever happen to you it's going to be very difficult but it's very doable now let's go back to me so like I mentioned in my previous video, living was when the actual depression set in. I thought I was depressed, but I didn't know that I wasn't close to being depressed until I left that um, situation. <laughs> that's when i knew when i got back home the first few days i was happy i got to eat i was free and yeah i was free just the first few days i felt free and going forward like as the days went by i it dawned on me that my life has changed my life has actually really changed in this case for good but then i didn't know it was for good so I went into a very dark place a very 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 dark place a place in my life that i will never go back to and i never want to be so i went into depression and every night around 1 30 not exaggerating it feels like something will wake me up and i will cry from that 1 30 in the morning till 5 a.m then i'll sleep off because fam i'd come back at this point my dad was already sick high blood pressure diabetes partial stroke so he was now dependent on me it wasn't the other way around so that part and i even had to tell my dad that i just came back from work and i'm taking a break because that was not what he needed at that moment going to my dad like let him know in the situation i was in number one he's going to get more sick and he's going to feel very helpless because at this point what can he do so it was just me and my mom so yes i was crying every day from 2 a.m to 5 guys sometimes people send you messages again i'm going to just be putting a lessons in between this story 
sometimes on your whatsapp stories or your instagram try to put motivational stuff there because you don't know who is looking at it and who needs it my mom sent me a video about um it someone that had gone to heaven and, and you know it was like all these stories where you go and you're praying 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 and god was like you know it was like an illustration where god told jesus just to the angel go and know what's wrong with them so they would pray 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 and then this particular person came and all they did they were praising god praising god singing screaming hallelujah praising god and god moved by himself so when i saw that video i knew that god was trying to tell me that i know you can't pray because i tried to pray i went to mountain of fire because those those people know how to pray so that they can teach me how to pray but i didn't know how to pray because i didn't know what to pray for am i praying to god for a house am i praying to god for job or what kind of job or where am i starting from like I didn't know what to pray for but when this thing came it was just a sign that what i needed to do was sing so i would just play christian music and i would cry i was angry i was sad i was bitter i was depressed i was everything wrong you can think about i turned into like a very sad angry person that's who i was a very sad angry person that could not even pray so all i did was i'll just play the song i remember sometimes i'll be so sad and i'll compose all these messages and send to this person just remember reminding the person like this is me like is this what you could do to me after all these years like this is me my you know remembering like all the dangers i had to put myself in and from at this point right People showed who they were, you know, because I remember that time I deactivated my social media. And you think you have people until you're in a situation. Like, even the people that would normally, like, check on me or stuff like that. Like, the people you expect to check on you or the people you expect to be there for you are not the people that will be there for you. Like, people to your face will literally blank you when they feel like which is why kind of like i do my own things i stay on my own a bit if you watch this channel you know that i'm not much of a friend 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 person my circle is very small because what is the use of having a big circle when when you're in a situation people can't be there for you and by there for you you're not even asking them for anything you're not asking people for anything but it's just more like the way people move on the way you know people will not even be like People really, a lot of people really disappointed me that period. I won't lie. A lot of people really disappointed me. Like people you think they will even check up to be like, hey, Sarah, we noticed your Instagram is not active or we noticed like you haven't been posting, are you fine? Because these are people like they just feel like, okay, Sarah is no more in this situation. So what do we need that? Like we don't need her for anything. So I will go days a month with my Instagram deactivated and certain people will not even check on me to know how I was. And there are a few people in my life that were like really, really there for me. My family and, you know, I had an auntie who had already stayed with when i was when i came to lagos at first so i didn't want to go back to a lot of my past because there are people that if i knocked like all i just need to say is i need and they'll be there but that's really what i was not up to like i was not even in a good place to go and start saying that i'm staying in so to, like i didn't know where to start telling the stories from so i had an auntie that i know will always be there for me but i couldn't tell her and then the ones i could tell it's just like it's a lot of disappointment fam it's ah it's not easy you know at this point again like i said my dad was sick and he was also facing his own disappointment because my dad me and my dad were the same <laughs> my dad is worse than me when it comes to generals my dad is an extremely generous person in my village they call my dad a kurulo which is money that wealth that comes back home you know he's that person that i know that during christmas he'll buy clothes you give people scholarship you give money like the mouse people will gather every day from one problem to the other so this man was here facing his own disappointment of how people just turn their backs on him like when i grew up uh when i was growing up my house i never remembered having a room to myself my house was just always busy there's always one person or the other like cousins were living there and you would think that like it's because of situations like this like to even check up like hey i heard this man is sick out of like 20 of them maybe only like two like really fam this is the real world but the thing is 
like I said, I'll be putting lessons. When you're good, don't ever stop being good because God will definitely pay you back. He, in all this, God also made sure that I was never on the streets and I was never hungry. I might not have been where I was supposed to, where I wanted to be, but I will not sit down here and say that I do not have food to eat. My dad, God just always came true. You know, he ha he will go to a hospital, he will have a bill, the bill will come in in millions. We didn't know how it was going to happen. We didn't know how it was going to be paid. Somebody would just come like a friend that, the people that helped my dad were the people that he has never even done something for. People would just come from nowhere. Like I have this uncle in America that I did not know of him. I didn't know that he exists until my dad got sick and him and his wife just decided to take it upon themselves. Like, okay, I'm going to send medications for this man. I'm going to take care of him. I'm going to do that like I had aunties that that came through friends but in all this like I was saying people that he did not do anything for were the people that were coming through for him so God really was you know he was and is always faithful so again I was saying I was at this point I was depressed I felt dejected I felt like why me you know i was just recalling every time and you know when it's late when i'm in this situation where i'm crying all i can think about is the things that would have happened to me the situation that i put myself in i had fought with people because of this person i will I, I'm, I'm a ride or die fam i'm a ride or die like if i'm with you you're all that matters like if i'm your friend you do no wrong in my sight so a lot of people who did not know that sarah was struck struggling that my dad was giving me money to live this lifestyle like uh, my dad would still give me money so maybe if i want to travel my dad would still give me money they didn't know so some people were still beefing me and they would do anything they would tell all like all kinds of lies about me anything they would make up stories they would they would they were planning to do anything to remove me or to bring me down because they assumed that wow this sarah's enjoyment is not here but they didn't know how it was coming through they didn't know in fact i remember the first time i did um the two movies i did that did very well that i like it's all these eastern movies that you do and sell it and make money i remember someone telling me that this person had given me money to do the film i'm like that nah. It's my dad that gave me money for that film. So, but people didn't know. So people even go as far as like trying to backbite you because they felt that like, ah, if it's me that is close to this person, I would have been living all this life, all this stuff, you know, that Sarah is doing. Uh, this person is giving Sarah money to do film. It's not true. Not true. <laughs> Which is why I was also angry because I know that if I came out where my dad was okay, he would have helped me. So in the night, the enemy will remind me of all these things, all the situations I've been in farm. I don't want to like even talk about like very gory things. I, <laughs> I'm trying so hard to avoid like I've been in a situation because of this person that like it took wisdom. Like if, if God did not give me wisdom that day, I don't know what would have happened to me. I'm telling you, you know, like... I don't know what would have happened to me like almost like three times i've been in situations that it it was god that just put what i said in my mouth that that just brought me out of that situation well and okay whenever you're building somebody be it a man you're trying to build a woman or a woman you're trying to build a man make sure you build yourself as the builder that you are make sure you build yourself my pastor once said if your partner is going to harvard you don't have money go to it's small business school do online course but make sure that every day you're doing something to grow so as you're building somebody if you're the type that loves to stay with people and let it go and like make sure that in that you're also building yourself because anything can happen which was my situation anything really could happen and it happened so i remember one faithful one very 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 faithful day you know um, my brother had taken the tv from upstairs i don't watch tv if i must watch tv i watch tv on my phone and i was just like where's the tv in this room this boy has taken this tv and i just went downstairs he was playing game and i just disconnected the tv my brother was shocked like i'm like at that, i was like what's wrong with you why did you come upstairs and take the tv blah 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 at that point i felt like people were already taking everything from me people were taking everything from me so why do you have to take this this one again from me that's how i felt that's how i was feeling like you're, 
everything is leaving me like this is all I have and I didn't need that TV and then I started crying I called my younger sister and my star I remember her speaking to me for long and she said I Sarah don't worry that's just a sign of depression and oh that's why you're just looking for things to hold on to she spoke to me she reminded me about God's word as well we prayed she sent me I sent her my CV she told me that she was going to help me redo it like that was just like also like a very healing day for me like just um that was the, that was really a healing day for me fam like the realization that i think i'm strong i think i'm okay but i'm not okay like i was very defensive very like attack like i could attack you know that that was me that that like that was my person and that was not who you know i used to be so that was me then you know at that time i somehow found a way to pray why I, I was singing i said praying and my prayer was just god help me help me help me i don't know what to do i'm helpless i don't know what to do so i told my sister to help me my sister was in lagos help me go look for a house but you know like again i came from a certain kind of home so there was also like that was the kind of life that i was already very used to you know remember i went to i went to school in london i went to school in america when i like there was a certain kind of life i was already used to so i still needed to somehow maintain that kind of life like i will not go and live in a face me i face you i will not know how to rush you know like in case you're not nigerian like a shared apartment where um th th like there's these houses we have where like so many people will live there and you all will share bathroom and share room like outside wait for each other so i also couldn't live there because i wouldn't know how to like i'd rather stay in my parents house you know so the journey for my sister to now gonna help me look for house was like i think it was even more sad <laughs> than like it was so sad because she'll go she'll come back hmm sarah i was in lucky huh ah uh, like she'll find the place where did i start from i don't have anything like like i need to buy anything and she said this is what i'm seeing 800k for this and houses in lagos if you've ever house haunted in lagos you know what i mean like these lagos landlords they are not smiling you can see a house in lagos for 1.4 million and <laughs> the house will not have a kitchen like house hunting in lagos is a depressing moment for anybody that has done that you know ever tried to house hunt when i was looking for my previous um apartment i remember i said in my video that this is me now looking for an apartment in a budget like is this me now that i'm actually like looking for an apartment and i'm saying this like i know what i want and i have the amount to get it and then when i even got this apartment this one was just god that just took me from zero zero and he, he flew me fast like this was this this apartment was supposed to happen the, my, my recent apartment was supposed to happen like in three years time or in five years time if i work harder but god did this one in one year like he just took me far so when i was saying that like you, you i knew that from when i was growing up and the kind of work that i <laughs> the kind of person i wanted to be i know that this is where i am now but that part in my life where all these things had happened i didn't know that i would be the one now sitting here you know saying like oh sarah my house my nah i didn't know i did th those dreams were dead so that was so depressing myself was like i might have just kept like my younger sister after like I snore to people before her so she would just be like sarah i think you should just try and stay and wait till next year because i won't have funds now till next year um when i'm able to just so that three of us can just come together and pay my sister too that just started working in lagos she was already like saving so she was already budgeting next year they're like okay you just have to wait so that next year all of us can come together and leave because right now here is it's going to be really difficult and you know my mom was just like that okay what will happen is that you know people that usually help like if my my dad is is not feeling fine sometimes people come and visit and they'll give him money that she doesn't even mind using money from his you know hospital to take care of me i'm like nah not me never like it will never be said 
that my dad is in the hospital and I cannot pay bills or I've used that money. This is what this person wants and it will never come to pass. Never. So I kept holding on to that, that every negative thing. Um, so when I went to Mountain of Fire, one of the pastor gave me a prayer that every negative thing that every anybody has ever said in your life will not hold. So I kept holding on to that word that no negative thing that's ever been said about me will stand. I kept holding on to that. I said I will never sell a property because of me. Like they will never have to use something that was meant. No, like it will never happen. It will never be said that my father is in the hospital and they are holding him because of hospital bill it will never be said i don't know how and i you know the more i prayed it the more i just started prophesying things about myself at this point i didn't know myself you know different suggestions some people are like do you want to go back to america do you want to go to london i'm like ah, like where do you want to go like you have this do you want to just use that money instead i fly to america and start again you know one good thing about america is that with America, it can be there is dignity in labor. <laughs> it's not like Nigeria where you can't work in a fast food store, in a fast food um, restaurant. What do they call it? Fast food, that be. You can't work in a fast food because, like, in you know how much they pay them here abroad. It's, it's a thing. Like, you can have five jobs because the schedule permits. They will get paid well per hour. Like, I was considering all. I was considering all that you know option at that point like you know i was considering all that all that option and then one day um so yes it was a very very depressing part of my life i cannot talk about depression without even though i did a lot of counseling you know talking to therapists online i i didn't want to do any face to face i did a lot of online but i will not talk about getting out of depression without calling god he started that he 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 brought me out I, like because if i want to sit down here today because fam even when i moved to lagos i stopped crying last year i actually stopped crying january last year 2022 january 2022 was when i stopped crying i cannot believe that like i'll be telling the story without crying no i stopped crying last year that was when i was fully okay then by september I was okay so my depression period was for a long time you know i was still even when i when i got a job even when i was still when things were now you know becoming better for me and i was still crying because i was still very depressed you know stuff like that so um one day you know long story long story short god showed himself showed himself with one you know my auntie my I have a family friend that has been inviting my parents to Lagos to come and stay for a while. So while I was there, they told my parents that oh I should come that they should come to Lagos. So it was even a good opportunity because I just like let me have my space because I really needed my space, you know, to just cry more. <laughs> so my parents went to Lagos and my younger sister who was helping me to house hunt went to my auntie's house. And my auntie asked, like, this is my auntie that I've not seen her since I was 15. Yeah. So my auntie asked that, where is, where is everybody? Where is Sarah? She said, oh, Sarah is in Enugu. I'm even helping her to go house hunt right now. Like, that's where I'm on my way to, to see a house. She said to house hunt, like, where do you live? She said, I'm staying here. Where Lucy? Lucy's there. But next year, we'll live together. My auntie said, so why is she in a hurry? Why not wait till next year? Then everybody can live together call her so myself was like ah, sarah will kill me oh, because at this point sarah doesn't want to stay with anybody again no oh, what should i do man or, or somebody should not tell sarah like don't come back to lagos stay in enugu for one year until everybody's ready so my auntie said call her then my auntie called me and said yes yeah, so madam <laughs> that's how she said it i heard you're you're trying to house hunt i say yes yes my, yes ma not spoken to her like the last time i saw her was like 15. she said okay um book your ticket and start coming to lagos sir. you come and stay in my house until next year so you all of you put money there's no need of you staying alone i said my auntie but i didn't know that it was god that wanted me to come back to lagos and this was how he wanted me to come back i said she said, what is it? What is it? I said, no, the kind of job that I do, you know, I'm in the industry, that we might have to come in late. She said, 
I have a son in the industry. Don't you know? She called her son name. Actually, no. She said, I have a son in the industry. Don't worry. You people have a separate this thing at the back. I know how you people's industry work is. So I'm not that kind of auntie. I don't have that kind of time. I have intercom. You're in your own space. In fact, it's from the back. You even be coming in. My son knows me. My son is here. That's why he's able to stay here. I don't disturb anybody. I don't have anybody's time. Like, your your own. Just what, all I know is that I need to hear that you're back here. Come back here do your work stay here and you know when you have so i quickly my star obviously when she called the phone she left and she called me sarah i'm sorry i'm sorry because she already knows that me i'll be angry sarah sorry just came out should i just say that okay you don't need the place again what should i say please i know you're sorry and i was like yes like why will you do that why will you do that like then my mom i see she knew my my phone was ringing it was my mom calling me mom was like ah this, this the lady said that she has told you to come don't worry she's chilled like you won't have any issues like my mom just calmed me down then i called my sister back and i was like nanda knows thank you my sister was like yes it's true because you know aside from that you still need money to um furnish the place just come in you know try to do all that and i agreed so my auntie would follow up like she called me when are you back like coming like coming now coming before your parents leave so that you can see them before they leave back to the east so i came in and everything she said that it would be was exactly what it was like you know those kind of places like i even met a friend that was telling me that oh my god you're so lucky i wish i could like if i can see an auntie or an uncle that was actually like stay in the house for one year so that i can put myself together to rent a place i will and then came and then this my auntie was just totally god sent and when i came here god opened doors like sometimes you're talented but you don't know what you can do until you're in that situation the first thing I got was somebody who my sister had introduced me to years before, like years ago, a long time. He just called me up that he wanted to start this um, online show and he needed me to come and direct it. Am I, you know, can he afford me? Is it possible? Blah, blah, blah. We spoke and the money was good. And I started like filming shows for him tv shows like i'll look like sarah is this me like i'll finish like they're paying me they agreed amounts they, we had different shows and i got paid differently for the different shows and god just opened doors i was an excellent digital marketer at this point i had done like this person i was working with <laughs> for the zero or no payment i would do wikipedia i'm a self-taught digital marketer like i know how to do wikipedia everything all that like without i learned it on my own <laughs> so i i didn't know that i could use all these things to fetch money my friend called me and said that she wanted um a wikipedia page that she can do wikipedia i said yes chat how much i charged that she paid me mm -hmm. she introduced me to someone else and fam i went from not having anything to being very busy like very busy opportunities were coming you know later like i even got a job as a social media manager opportunities were coming all i needed to do was to open up multiple streams of income like place i didn't know that just by speaking that you can make money from consulting i said a friend called me and said that somebody was coming from malaysia and they wanted to do a movie in nigeria so they wanted to survey the nigerian industry you know like joke i was just like ah they have to pay me i will not come and be teaching someone about the nigerian industry for free how much i told them they paid me i was like what what now know the power of making money of what you can do in your sleep you know those things i used to do for free those uh, I, I don't even know what to say but i just know that god came true and you know i didn't just wake up one day and come out from that depression no sometimes when i'm in a situation like when i don't know when the la the next money is coming from i will start hating this person i will start regretting i'll be like 
why did I allow myself to be in this situation? Look at me now. Or maybe something just happens. I'm like, ah, if I did what is right, I wouldn't have been here. So I just kept dwelling in the past for long. I kept dwelling in the past. And guys, this is my story about being in my 30s, being broke, being, let me just say homeless, obviously, because it may, again, that was almost what it was like homeless, broke nowhere no vision no no direction nothing and god in his infinite messes came true and yes please to remember we are in my 30 series so the next episode i'm going to be telling you guys on how um being in an emotionally abusive space almost ruined my work relationship in my new space and my friendship so you know when they say your past doesn't matter but yeah healing is actually very important because you when you when you're not fully healed you might miss new opportunity because of you, that situation what it did to you like there were effects i didn't just come out and you know i'm whole again no there were effects to that there were changes in my life in my body and everything that occurred due to you know all these things that i've been through i hope you enjoyed you know my video and i hope you learned one or two my name is sarah donald please do well to subscribe to my channel leave a comment bye for now